Hi everyone, this is Honeywell and I'm playing Banished. This is episode 12 of The Perfect Town. When we had last left off, um, we set up these three trading posts to automatically uh, purchase food, which was good. And I said we were going to go ahead and uh, work on getting some farm set up and that's what we're gonna do. I went ahead and planned some some buildings and the like offline. Just so you guys wouldn't have to sit through me placing a building, destroying it, placing it again over and over and over again. And along with that, I also made up my mind and decided that I was going to um, expand the crop fields. So I planned out a little, a little village over here. Again, with the uh, taking advantage of the water wherever we can to help our food production. So we planned out um, some more fishing docks a market, a few more pastures, but we're going to keep that paused for now because we have a lot, a whole lot queued up over here. I changed my mind about the uh, farm placement. Um, most of the farms have roads around them, like on this side, so it looks stupid not to have all of the farms outlined in roads. So I went ahead and deleted some roads and we'll put back in those farms. I also added um, some more trading posts to this lake and we're going to use them to uh, stockpile a reserve of uh, food and materials. You can see with this one we have um, some food uh, plus some tools, warm coats. We'll also be putting um, iron well, we can do that. Iron and stone in here as well. We're waiting for stone to come. Stone would be good. And we'll also see if we can't get um, some of these posts up here set up for um, purchasing small amounts of goods so we can completely ignore these uh, trading posts as we weigh as we play. I have this one on the end set up for some. But I really need some big orders of stone before we can do that. You can see we don't have much at all. queue up some more to be removed from the surface just in case it takes a while for the traders. Um, I guess that's good. And I also wanted to um, to kind of illustrate how important the your infrastructure is. We have this woodcutter over here next to a stockpile, and what did he do last year? Uh, 984 firewood. And this woodcutter over here, 880. And this woodcutter, uh, 444. And the reason why. Um, not too long ago, he was almost up to uh, cutting a thousand. And the reason why that's happening is because these stockpiles are jammed full. So that's something that you want to, um, 324. That's something that you want to pay attention to. Now, now I could resolve this situation um, by building some more stockpiles back here. I could also request um, more firewood into our trading posts. 
let's see. And with this resource mer merchant, I'm just going to request uh, steel tools and stones every visit because that's what I can picture us maybe needing. Um, or I could put a, I could put in like a large stockpile right up here and then set these stockpiles uh, for removal. And you'll see they have a, a storage bar. And once this got down to around maybe, I don't know, the 50% mark or something, I could reclaim it. And that would leave this stockpile empty with more room available for, for the foresters and woodcutters. Um, But I'm not going to do any of that just because our town is is growing and we're producing an abundance of everything. And honestly, within the next um, year or two, all of that's going to sort itself out. I do not have hardly any crop seeds, so I'm going to be buying a ton of crop seeds with our firewood as we build more houses. I think there's something... I don't know, maybe, maybe 20 houses over here are all being built. All of those are going to um, take some resources. So I'm going to just let that be and sort itself out. But these are all things that you want to pay attention to and they can, they can really collapse your game if if you're running along and things seem to be going well and you're producing an abundance of everything and then all of a sudden your production values go down you're not producing enough it can really uh, really hurt your gain if you're not mindful of these things the same way with the barns um, these fields used to, well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, these fields used to uh, be able to always get their harvest in, but when you have uh, barns filling up and that sort of thing, it reduces your harvests. So even though you're capable of um, producing enough food and firewood for your town, because your storage barns and stockpiles are full, you might all of a sudden not be producing enough. Just something to keep in mind so you can troubleshoot your own towns if something starts to go wrong and you're not sure what's happening. I'm gonna order stone from you. and maybe buy some warm coats. Uh, corn and pear, and of course we don't need those. And walnuts, no thank you.
going to increase priority on removing these roads just so I can get this done and over with. And I'm also going to unpause this trading post over here. And since I'm stockpiling warm coats in our trading posts, I'm going to change uh, this tailor over to warm coats. But I also had some tailors, more tailors for over here planned. So I'm going to put in those buildings. And these two will both be producing wool coats. Not that there's stone for any of this right now, but. But eventually, we'll get this stuff done. How many fishermen do we have? I'm going to go ahead and raise this up. I just want about half of our, our docks half full. And I'm checking these, these docks because I'm looking for seeds and stone. So if they show up with with either of those, I'll transfer some goods into those docks to purchase them. Okay, a teacher. And these crop fields aren't something that we need right now. Our population is is still pretty small. Um, Three hundred and sixty-eight citizens, and we have over a hundred thousand in food. Um, so there isn't a real need for for these crop fields yet. But you always want to be expanding your food sources instead instead of waiting until it's too late. I'm going to add a few more houses over here. And actually, I'm going to unpause this marketplace and some of the houses over here as well.
I'm not going to be setting up this area at all this episode. But depending on how far far along we get, maybe the next episode we'll uh, concentrate on getting uh, more livestock and opening up this area. We're also going to be expanding um, the map this way. And I talked before about having um, a church, cemetery, and hospital um, for each of the major areas of the city. And we don't have one yet for the for our trading wharf here. So I went ahead and put in put in those buildings here. But these are all stone intensive buildings and we just don't have it, so all of that's paused. And so I'm gonna queue up all of these trees to be removed. Let's keep all of our laborers busy if they're not collecting stone. Okay. Cabbage seeds we want. Potato seeds we want. Uh, pumpkin seeds we want. And this is why I didn't make any any changes to our forest hubs, just because the problem's going to correct itself. Okay. Bean and corn we have. Um, and we have plenty of this. Well, you can never have too many apples, right? I'm not even going to bother putting down these stone roads right now, not until we get some, uh, some in. But we are going to put some more houses back here. And you might notice that I don't have all of the houses pinned up here. Um, that's because I have, I'm building so many so fast and our homes to family ratio, there's so much room for it. I really don't think it's necessary. If an odd elder or parent and child move into a house, that's fine. If I pinned all those houses, I wouldn't even be able to see. I'm gonna squeeze in another house over there. I'm getting continuous stone low, stone low messages because I'm building so much and we just don't have the stone. And it looks like two more fishing huts came online, so we're going to go ahead and 
increase our fishermen. I want uh, two at each dock. And I'm going to custom order uh, steel tools and stones from the resource merchants on these docks just because the same way that I have um, beans, wheat, and apples custom ordered on these docks. We'll kind of do the opposite on the food docks, if that makes sense. And we're not accepting any nomads. Oh, it already came. Excuse me, just a moment. Sorry about that, my cat needed me. A little bit of stone is better than nothing. And to make this weight go faster, we're going to go ahead and up this to 10 times speed. These are two things I should keep track of. And we should have the other 250 coats that I want to put in this trading post. So we'll go ahead and up that. Oh good, stone. And I think we can use some pepper seeds. Okay, good. Potato, wheat, apple, pumpkin. And we're going to up our vendors by two and distribute them the way we want them. Put a teacher. And it looks like I th think we probably have enough crops to, uh, to set these fields. even know how much
We're going to purchase this stone too. So we'll put those over there. Cabbage. Potatoes. We're just going to go down the line and do one of everything. I didn't actually want ale over here, uh, but since I have it, let's try, remove that, and we're still looking for seeds, so I'm going to check these for a little bit longer. Why would I have 59 farmers? Because of this field right here. And just to keep things even, the same way that I have, um, that I want all of our fishing docks half full, I'm doing the same thing with our farms. I only want half of the workers assigned to those. And we'll go over here. Pumpkin seeds. Potato squash. Do we need squash? Okay, we need squash. Let's see. Bean, cabbage, peach, pear, peppers we have, potato, pumpkin, squash, Wheat seeds. Okay, so we have all of the seeds. Stone and steel tools. We're going to custom order from him. Going to reduce the ale back down to zero. Dismiss him. And going to unpause a slew of these houses. And we'll also check out that infestation. reduce the speed. Okay. That's fine. As you see, at this point right here, it's it's going to be almost impossible for us to keep up with the the families. And this trading post, 
came online, so we're going to go ahead and add six more. Is that right? One more. And we're going to be storing food in this one as well. Well, the what the 36,000 food that we have in this one post is good. Um, chances are if we ever actually need this reserve of food and materials, it's going to be in the, the later game. And that small amount of food that late in the game with a high population uh, won't help for long. So to be on the safe side, I want somewhere around 100,000 food kind of squirreled away. And I'm also going to stock this trading post um, with 6,000 firewood. And again, what we're doing here is uh, just trying to give ourselves a little bit of protection from any any problems that we might have in our production later on. So if it's because of we're not getting, we're unlucky with our trades or Or we have a really bad disease, something that affects our, our population. We won't be whatever disaster that could happen won't completely wipe us out. And I'm also setting up all of these trading posts over here um, to purchase small amounts of resources. And I'm taking out the all of the firewood as well, just to make sure we're not spending firewood on things that we may or may not need and end up shorting our people. I might have to adjust these figures as we go along. Uh, this is just a guess on my part. I really don't know how this is going to work out. But we've got to start somewhere. Okay, this looks good. I'll make that a wool coat vendor. Um, and because of that, I'm going to go ahead and right down here, I'm going to toggle the pop-up notification 
uh, for town events, which basically means uh, the trading posts and nomads. Now, of course, I always have the option. I can see when uh, vendors arrive down here in the event log. But I can truly ignore all of these vendors now. We should have a steady um, supply of resources coming in. And hopefully we're good to go. And let's see. Okay, they have everything that I want stocked here. This trading post is 100% full, which is great. This holds a lot, which you can absolutely see. But on the downside, if this catches on fire or there's a tornado or anything like that, we're going to lose a lot. But I think it's uh, worth the risk. And now, while well, we're, now is the time to do it. We're producing so much uh, that we really don't need because our population is still relatively small. And let's see, our fishermen, are they still half? No. Okay, and it looks like everything is popping into place here. And I think this is probably a good uh, place to end the episode. All of our docks are completely automated now we have our farms in we're flushing out this area more and more each time we play um, I see no wells over here that's probably bad let's plop a well down all of our pastures are complete over here The stockpiles are still completely jammed up back here, but I'm going to guess that that is going to take care of itself pretty soon. Maybe not. I guess we'll find out what happens next episode. Okay, yeah, I'm rambling on here, so I think it's uh, past time for me to call it an episode. Um, I appreciate you watching, and I hope you'll come back for episode 13. Thank you.